Hi, it's Legionero back with another video. I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and everyone who keeps coming back each time I post a new video. So today I want to do a video. I don't think I did this video on this channel. I know I have one on my sewing and crafting channel and I can't find the original file to post it here. So I'm just going to redo the video of how I make my Kiss Cut script stickers um sticker sheets um meaning the cricket cuts the scripts and then it cuts around the sheet so that i don't have to use scissors or a paper cutter to cut my sheets my sticker sheets out so i'm going to show you how i do that hopefully that made sense <laughs> all right so i'm in cricut design space i hit new project and once the canvas pops up, I go to text and I type in whatever text I'm doing. Um, I'm going to do meal prep and I'm going to do Bible study, um, but I'll show you meal prep and then I'll do Bible study because to make sure that I use the most of my paper on the Cricut, I'm going to do two sticker sheets. All right, so I'm going to start out with meal prep hit text type your word and i'm gonna go over here to my font and i think i have my font bookmark but i use yep summer hipster and i got that from uh creative fabrica hopefully i can remember to link it below <laughs> all right so i got my um script here and i want to make this more black basically um because it's kind of like a grayish color so i'm going to hit my color up here and i'm going to choose um, this black here just to make it darker you see i made it darker um and i'm going to take it down just a little bit and what i'm doing i'm just way my mouse changed to the um, double head arrows I just click that and I drag it right and I'm just taking it down a little bit for now so now I'm gonna go up here to offset and I always kind of try to move whatever I'm putting the offset down so I can see the offset before I hit apply so I'm just gonna take this because it's at 0.25 now I'm just gonna take this and drag it down until I get the offset like I want it. Um, and you can kind of play with it. You see it's moving as I'm moving. Um, so I think that's fine. Um, let's see. I'm going to hit apply. All right. Then I'm going to come up here to the color to change the color of my offset. Um, and you can see it's on the offset because offset is highlighted. Just going to come up here, change my offset to white. All right. Then I'm going to click and drag and select both of them. And I'm going to hit flatten. All right. So now I can make this the size that I want it. I usually do, depending on the word and how it looks, um, how small it looks, I never do over one inch. So I usually come up here to size and I do 0.75, depending on the word. And that looks super small. <laughs> so I'm going to do one. And I think that's a little better. Yeah. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come over here to shapes. And I'm just going to grab this shape with the rounded corner. It's the square, but it has a rounded corner on it. Right. And I'm gonna come up here to size. I'm gonna unlock it. I'm going to do four by six. And the reason I do that is because that's my little storage thing that I put my sticker sheets in. I get it, I get them from the Dollar Tree, it's those little plastic um photo album things that you find from the Dollar Tree. And that's what I stick my sticker sheets in. So that's why I do this four by six, All right? So I'm gonna take my meal prep, drag it over, 
I'm going to go to arrange, bring to front. All right. So I got my meal prep on here. So now I'm going to um, duplicate it as many times as it will fit across, right? Sometimes I can get three, sometimes I can get four. Um, and if I can only get three this way, sometimes I will put words going down, but you'll see that in a second. Um, because I want to make the most out of this <laughs> sticker sheet, right? I want to get the most out of it that I can. Um, so I'm just going to drag my shape out of the way. I'm going to select all of my words, all my meal preps. I'm going to go align top. All right. And then I'm going to group them. I'm going to hit group. All right. So they all stay in place. So now what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, hit duplicate so I can line them up, right? And I'm going to move this out of the way for now. We can drag, highlight, duplicate. Um, hit duplicate, right? And I'm going to duplicate this as many times as I need to until I fill up this whole sheet. And I'm just gonna line them up. All right, so now that I have all my meal preps, um, they look a little wonky right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click and drag and select them all. I'm going to hit align left. And then I'm going to do a line vertical. So now they're kind of evened out, right? Um, and I'm going to hit group because I don't want them to move. I'm going to just group the whole thing. Um, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click and drag my um, shape, put that in place. So now I have this other meal prep over here, right? Because I, I have some room over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rotate this. I had to hit more. You rotate 90 degrees, right? I'm going to ungroup it because I probably can fit about two more meal preps. So I'm going to ungroup it. And I'm just going to select one of them and hit duplicate. So I can get two more, right? Trying to make the most out of my sticker sheet. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just going to click and drag. Group that and drag it over to my sticker sheet, right? All right, so I pretty much have my sticker sheet, right? This is what we're going to do. I'm going to click and drag, select them all. I'm going to hit attach. All right, slide that over. I'm going to come over here to my shape. I'm going to duplicate my shape um, four more times. All right. And this is just a basic shape right here. I'm just going to duplicate this four more times. I'll tell you why in a second. Right. I'm going to take those four and slide them out of the way. I need this fifth one, my original one, I need this to be a print and cut image. Right. So I'm going to click on it, 
click up here on basic cut and turn it into a print and cut image. I'm going to slide it over here because I want to make sure everything fits. I want to make sure I get it right before I turn it white because my paper is white, right? So I got it in place. Make sure over here your square is still selected. You're going to change the color to white, right? Because that's what your sticker sheet is going to look like, right? Click and drag everything. Click and drag to select everything, the shape and the words. Hit attach because you don't want that to move. All right. All right, so there we go. So this is going to be your sticker sheet. Now, if I were to just print and cut this, the Cricut would just kiss cut my meal prep words. What I wanted to do, I wanted to cut around this shape, all right? Okay, now that I have my sticker sheet, um, the Cricut is just going to cut the meal prep right but i wanted to not only kiss cut the meal prep i wanted to also cut around the sticker sheet so i'm going to take these four over here that i made i'm going to take them i'm going to make sure that they're behind my sticker sheet so i'm just gonna i, I took one of them drag them over i'm just double checking send them back because I don't want to print this and it, it doesn't go send to back. It's, it's not behind it. So I can grab the next one. Arrange. Send to back. And you probably can do all this with all four at one time. I just like to double check. Arrange. Send to back. All right. So now that I have those four behind my sticker sheet. I'm going to click and drag and select all five of these sheets because I got four basic cuts, right? I got four basic cuts and I have one print then cut. I'm going to hit align and center. All right. So now everything is behind my sticker sheet. So once my Cricut cuts my meal prep, it will then cut around this sheet four more times. All right. Okay, once you select them all and you do a line center, I, my video cut off, so I wasn't sure where it cut off. So you select all the sheets, all five of them, align and center. Right. Once you do that, with the sheet still selected, all five sheets still selected, hit attach. All right. That's very important. You want to make sure you hit attach. After you um, send your four basic cuts behind your sticker sheet, you click and drag, select them all, align center. And even um, it should be still selected and you can hit attach. But if it's not, you just click and drag again and you hit attach if you need to. Right. So I got my sticker sheets here. This is five sheets all together. I went on ahead and did my Bible study one. Um, I did the exact same thing I did with this sheet. So now. I'm just putting the sheet side by side. Um, Cricut Design Space acts a little funny sometimes. <laughs> I got both my sheets side by side. Now I'm going to click and drag, select both of those sheets, and hit attach. Because when I get ready to print them out, I want them to stay side by side like this. Um, because sometimes the Cricut will put this on two different pages and you don't want that. You want to make the most out of your, your, your sheet. All right. So now I'm going to hit make it or make. They took the it off. <laughs> so I'm going to hit make. All 
All right, so then we'll come to this page. You'll see how your sticker sheets are on your, how they'll look on your mat. I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to hit send to printer. Be a little slow at times. All right. I'm going to turn off Add Bleed, but I'm going to turn on Use System Dialog because that way you can choose whatever printer you want to choose. You can choose your settings for your printer, and your settings will probably look different from mine. Um, but I always turn off bleed and I use my, I turn on use system dialog. Right. So I come over here, choose my printer. I go to preferences and this is just what mine looks like. Yours may look different. Go to preferences and I, I need to change my paper because I'm printing on matte paper. Right. Um, and I'm going to do black ink only because my scripts are black. All right. I'm going to hit OK and print. And it's going to print out my sheet. And then the Cricut is going to cut um, the sticker sheet. Okay, here is the sticker sheet. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. <laughs> All right. So, you see now I have two separate um, sticker sheets. And the stickers on there are Kiss Cut stickers. So, by me adding those extra four basic cut shapes behind the actual sticker sheet the Cricut then once it cut out all of my kiss cut stickers it then cut around the sticker sheet for me and you just take it and you just pull this part off that way you don't have to use scissors you don't have to use a paper cutter any of those things get your Cricut to cut around your sticker sheets for you. If you have any questions for me, place them in the comments. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.